Hi, this is Max, and I am excited to share with you The Mouse in the Matzah Factory by Francine Medoff. Once there was a mouse who lived in a wheat field in the country. One day, people came and put a fence around the wheat field. They planted the wheat, and then they watched the wheat, and the mouse watched too. He was curious what was so special about this wheat. The people stayed and they watched the wheat grow. They watered the field and they picked the weeds and they waited until the wheat ripened. The mouse watched the people watching the wheat. When the wheat was ripe, the people cut the wheat down and they tied it into bundles and they loaded it into a wagon. The mouse hopped on the wagon to see what would happen. The wagon drove through the countryside until it came to the mill. When they got to the mill, the people started unloading the wheat and taking it inside the mill. The mouse followed the wheat. He snuck under a hole in the door and he watched. Inside the mill, there were great big wheels grinding the wheat into flour. When the flour was ready, the people in the mill poured it into big sacks, being very careful to keep the flour dry. They put it in the sacks and they closed up the sacks tightly and they loaded the sacks onto a big truck. The mouse wanted to see where the truck would go. So the mouse snuck on the truck too. The truck drove through the, through the country and farther and farther away until they left the country far behind. The truck drove all the way until they got to the city. The mouse peeked out. The mouse could not believe what he saw. He saw tall building and lots and lots of people and cars and trucks honking. The mouse had never been in the city before. Soon the truck drove up to a building and workers came out of the building to take the bags of wheat, the bags of flour off of the truck. There was an inspector who looked at every sack to make sure that it was closed and tight and dry. They brought the bags of flour into the building. The mouse looked around. He found a little window that there was a little crack and he snuck through that crack and he hid behind a clock so he could watch and see what would happen. Inside there were lots of people and they were all busy. In one area they were unloading the sacks of flour. In another area there were people with buckets of water. In another area, there were people with buckets of flour. And in the middle of it all, there was the baker. And the baker had a big bowl in front of him. And he called out for everybody to come and help. The person with the flour came and poured flour into the bowl and when the baker called out again, the person with the water poured water into the bowl. And then the baker mixed it. He mixed it and mixed it until it turned into a ball of dough. He took the dough and he brought it to another area where people had rolling pins and they rolled out the dough into circles. And then he brought those circles to another area where people had special tools and they made holes in the dough. And then he took that dough with the holes to the baker with the oven and he put it in the oven. And soon the room began to smell so good. The mouse looked around and he couldn't believe it. It smelled so good. All of a sudden, a bell went off. 
Everybody stopped working. They started cleaning. They scrubbed and they wiped and they sanded down and they cleared all away. And then the baker set the timer again and everybody started working again. The mouse couldn't stand it. He followed the smell and he saw beautiful pieces of matzah being brought into a room where people were tying them into bundles and putting them in boxes. The mouse climbed up on the window and he looked outside and he saw families waiting to buy the boxes. He looked at one of the boxes and it said, this matzah is made with wheat that has been watched from the time of harvest to the time of baking. That's right, said the mouse. I watched this, this wheat. I watched the flour. I watched it grow. I watched it be harvest. I watched it turned into flour. I watched it being mixed and baked. I watched this matzah. And the mouse felt very important. Well, he looked around and he realized that his job was done. And so he squeezed back under the window and made his way back to the field where he could be ready for the wheat to be grown for the matzah next year. Thank you so much.